Thank you, Chairperson and uh, colleagues. I want to begin by welcoming this report and the draft resolution, and I want to congratulate John Prescott for the excellent job of work that he's done. Um, colleagues, there is no single action to meeting the challenge of climate change, and no single state has the power to reverse climate change. It will take many actions of all states to protect our environment. The Paris Accord brought 195 countries together to work collectively to reduce the effects of climate change. It sets out a long-term emissions reduction goal of keeping the global temperature increase well below 2 degrees centigrade while pursuing efforts to limit the rise to 1.5 degrees. The nations involved in COP21 agreed upon and required that they would all work towards making sure the Earth's temperature doesn't rise above this critical point as a two degree point is recognized as being the tipping point to preventing massive effects of climate change. This agreement demonstrates recognition of the changes we are experiencing in our climate and a commitment to lower our carbon emissions. The American decision to pull out of this agreement is deeply, disappointed, dis deeply disappointing, short-sighted, and stupid. It's a classic decision of unfettered capitalism where short-term greed trumps the long-term interest of humanity. The USA, of course, is the second largest greenhouse gas polluter in the world. The EU have also set obligations, an overall EU reduction of at least 40% in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 compared to 1990 levels. Colleagues, what we are required to do is simple. Cut carbon pollution as much and as fast as possible. But it will only be possible if there is a shift towards the public good rather than private gain. It will require a priority of public investment and regulation over the greed of free market economics. Unregulated markets lead to an unregulated climate, and we know where this is leading us. We are seeing the effects of climate change. We are experiencing more erratic weather patterns. Since the 1990s, sea level rises of 3.5 centimetres per decade have been as observed around the Irish coast. Finally, when talking of climate change, we must also be aware that developing world states are now feeling its effects. The principles of climate justice must be to the forefront of delivery of the goals of the Paris Accord. Europe must be a beacon of hope in the battle to contain climate change in a manner that recognises and supports these principles.